Murray Darling Basin is an area of extreme importance to the whole of Australia and I think it's the eighth biggest water system in the world and so much of our agriculture depends on it. Um, our river's been really affected by irrigation and it's a very contentious issue. I think it's important for the church to be involved in, in the fact that a lot of our people live along the river or in the coast or in the uh, rural areas around the river but also we're a church that's supposed to be part of the people and doing stuff with people and reaching out not reaching in and as we go with the common good I think doing stuff that enhances the use of the river for the common good is a really great way to go. Water reform, like so many of the sustainability issues we as community face, have huge and significant impacts on people. And part of the response to a water reform change is helping people transform from where they are to where we need to be, to be more sustainable. That's not easy to do. And some of the things that the Uniting Church can do is provide a very safe place where people can exchange hard questions with each other and hard information. And that's to me a very important transforming role for the church and I think it's very firmly based in the gospel as I read it. Uh, the importance of the Uniting Church involvement in the Murray-Darling Basin is for sustainability, the best for the common good, um, reconciliation between all of the people who are involved, uh, it's a story of hope, it's a story of justice. When I say that, that the gospel is about change, and as John the Baptist said, it's about turning around and repenting and going in a different direction. Sustainability is in some ways spiritually that journey of lamenting and understanding where we are and what we are not doing well and turning around and moving in a direction that's transformative, renewing and empowering and giving us resilience spiritually and economically for the future. Well, the waters and the rivers that, are, that flow through our, our country are, are, go back in millennium for, for places of, of great spiritual healing and bringing together. And I think that spirituality flows into us as we stand in these riverbeds. And it's, it's nothing, in my job, nothing greater is to stand in, the, in a riverbed out, out west and you see those majestic trees and you remember and you can feel the sense of God's presence among that. God is a wild raging rapids and slow meandering flow. God is a deep and narrow passage a peaceful sandy shore God is a river swimmer so let go God is the river swimmer